Hey, it's John McBride, Autel Robotics. I am the VP of training as well as technology, hanging out here at CES 2023. A lot of cool stuff coming around in the booth, and thank you, Mr. Dobo, for hanging out with me, absolutely. Uh, kind of showing a little bit of the new technologies that we're releasing, uh, a lot of things that people have been anticipating. We've been releasing a lot of stuff, getting that, that uh, uh, sizzle stuff going, and I'm, I'm hoping to share a lot of that new technology today. So one of the big ones, our Max. What is the Max? We're not talking about Owner Max. We're not talking about the guy Max. We're talking about the new Max, the Evo Max. So everybody very familiar with the Evo 2, but let's take a look at it. What do we got? Evo 2 in comparison, just a little bit bigger, a little chunkier. Great actual form factor and a little bit smaller than some of our competitors be able to, be able to still be a foldable drone. So up on the front end, we call this the 4T. We have a thermal camera, laser range finder, optical zoom, and a wide camera. All of the things that are really, really focused a bit more on public safety, a little bit more industrial applications. However, we do have other payloads that are becoming. So on the bottom of this, just like the other Evo 2, we're able to take a couple of screws out right there. So those couple of screws will allow us to then change those payloads out for mission specific capabilities. Really cool stuff. Also on the bottom, we haven't lost the lights on the bottom, but we do have optical cameras on the bottom for night or for uh, obstacle avoidance basically not night vision however I was gonna bring up the night vision because night capabilities of doing obstacle avoidance is very difficult that's difficult for a number of reasons they, they can't see so other manufacturers do have optical cameras to be able to visual see so do we however we put a wave millimeter radar inside there to also combat dark spaces or things like that Another one of the big innovations here on the Max, we have a hot swappable battery. So one of the very first types of drones that has a hot swappable battery with a single battery unit. That means that we can take a few seconds to then pull the battery out, throw a new battery in. There's no restarting of the aircraft waiting for GPS or anything like that. So one of the greatest innovations I believe that we're gonna be able to do again for public safety for those quick swaps, quick things. Other new things that we've done, so we have the mobile awareness kit. Looks like just a green device today and a, a couple screens, but let me, let me kind of explain the concept on this. So what we have is Autel's mesh technology. The mesh technology allows us and drones to communicate with each other without having to use LTE. Very localized network, not swarm technology per se, but a way to actually get information back and forth between pilots and people on the ground. Quick example, wildfires, we have a major event going on like Hurricane Ian that just happened, we don't have communication paths very well, we lose all the towers, things like that. We can localize all of that communication. We can then pin drop on certain situations that are going on as far as missions, missions capable go. So there's a lot of cool things that we're able to do there. Walk around with me in the booth? All right, let's do it. So. We were talking, we were sitting here next to the dragonfish table and that is my baby. I've been a dragonfish, you know, pusher since the very beginning. So as far as the dragonfish is concerned, we've got the light and we have a standard in the back here. And these haven't changed too much. We're just, we've been working on a little bit more of that communication path, things like that. So the major events here that are, that are coming along in CES are the capabilities of, again, communicating instead of a one-to-one -one radio to uh, Dragonfish were inclusive on that on that mesh network, so that's a really cool one. Our new release, gray color, so that's going to be fairly new. Um, I have a lot of people that want this for public safety. They want to be able to say, hey, it's not you know bright white. It's got that little bit uh, matte finish on there, so not as uh, uh, seen. I, a little more stealthy. We'll we'll call it stealthy. <laughs> All right. So on the other side of the table, we've got our Evo stuff. However. This is the big one. So one of the antenna systems, so this is also a Dragonfish specific application here. What this is, is that we have an omni, omnidirectional antenna that's next to the other uh, table there. That gives us a range of about 18 miles. That's still pretty damn far, I ain't gonna lie about that. It's pretty far. However, you have an omnidirectional, omnidirectional capability. Here we have a directional patch antenna up on front. This allows us to get 75 miles away. 
it's pretty far. <laughs> so we're able to push it pretty far with that patch antenna. Uh, the other piece of this is that we have also a short range antenna. So this is very directional. You'll end up seeing that how we end up hitting those angles and doing that stuff, very directional. So we want to be cautious on when we fly it over us, near us or anything like that. Still have RTK antennas, but the other thing about this, mobile. This will be great when you put it on a boat, when you stick it on a car, you can mount it to your trailer, fancy antennas. So now the RTK can be moving, drone can be moving, pilot can be moving, the whole show can be moving, and we really have a lot of uh, merry time uh, type things where people want to bring them on the boats, land on the boats, and do things on the boats. And with RTK, typically on the old, you have to have it stationary. So another one more thing to talk about real quick, the nest. Last year we released the Nest, and on the Nest we were uh, made by a third party manufacturer. So they made the, the little the drone, drone in the box idea. But here we have a, be, a little bit better control about with, with the actual hardware. We can create it, make it, uh, do what we need to to control a little bit better. So really excited about the new Nest. Um, and now we have the box open. So let's take a little close look at this. Dragonfish Nest. Holy cow, that's it's big. Massive. It's massive. So, uh, one of the cool things about this, we have battery changing happening in the back. We have a, you can see the insulation here on the, on the thing. So, this is good for keeping cold weather, warm weather, all operations happening inside. So, we have a lot going on there. And, of course, a space for it to land, recalibrate where it needs to go so that we have the ability for the batteries to be exchanged. Applications. So, we have a huge antenna up on the top. We're able to hit ranges of, again, 100 miles, but this is in a single way direction. So if you have a box on one side, the nest on one side, you have a nest on the other side, you can do a you know, border patrol, uh, you can do any type of uh, electro line inspection for transmission lines, you can do a lot of stuff to where you go one to one and go from box to box if you want to, or box and return to box for repetitive things. Uh, we have a lot of other cool payloads coming out, but just behind me over here, last thing we'll talk about here is the Pro. We've already seen the Dragonfish Pro, a much bigger airframe, uh, three-ish hour flight time, but uh, you know, that payload is humongous as well <laughs> because it is a big bird. A lot of cool stuff going on. So, uh, want me to close her up? Close I think we've up, seen yeah. it up. Okay. Hey, again, thank you so much for having me, hanging out with us at the Auto Booth. Happy to have you here.